We've been asked for a while now to do a video on Pike and Picard. They are awesome captains that increase the effectiveness of other bridge officers that trigger in combat. Specifically, we get questions on how they work and who works with them. As far as how they work, RevDuce put out a great video right around a year ago at the time of recording this. And we're going to drop that below in the description. I think he did a great job. It really sums up how these officers actually affect other officers. The descriptions have changed since he put that video out. There's no more of this two times whatever effectiveness increase to the other officers. But otherwise, the information is pretty much exactly the same. So instead of reinventing that particular wheel, I'm going to urge you to go check out RevDuce's video if you're curious on how Pike and Picard actually work. In this video, we're going to focus on the other half of the question, who works, who doesn't work, and specifically how to test officers for yourself so as new officers are released in the game, you can go ahead and continue to use this information. This video will not be covering what good crews with Pike and Picard are, just addressing the question of who actually works with them and who doesn't. If the community would enjoy it, if that's what you guys would like, leave a comment for us. And the crew and I will go ahead and get out with some of these crews that we've discovered that do work. And we'll pick out some of our favorites, whether they are just entertaining or actually effective crews. And we'll share them in a future video. But for now. As with most of the videos that you'll find on this channel, we are going to teach you how to fish before we hand the fish over to you. However, if you're only interested in the current list of officers, excluding the Strange New World, Epic, Data, and Tal officers, which we were unable to test at the time, we do have chapters down below, so you can go ahead and just jump to the slides. Now, there are two important considerations for the teaching moments for Pike and make it so for Picard, Captain's Maneuvers, that is. The first is that the officer abilities being boosted must trigger in combat. The second is that this does not actually increase the likelihood that it will trigger in combat. It will just increase the effectiveness of it once it triggers. So to test whether or not it actually triggers in combat, we loaded up our officers on the cheapest ship we could to repair at the time. In many cases, the Rialta would suffice. In other cases, we needed like a Stella for exchange armadas or something that we would actually survive some rounds in PvP with. But in general, we would find the cheapest to repair cost ship that we could. We would throw said ship depending on what the officer ability is. So for instance, Moreau works on any hostile that we go attack. But for Emperor Giorgio, we had to specifically set up a situation with another player on a capture node and then attack them. Or for Severus, we had to make sure that an opponent player had a burning crew and that it triggered before we killed them or they killed us to see if that triggered in combat. And then of course, after all this was done, we go check that combat log and make sure that the officer ability does trigger in there in which case we would just label it on our list as triggers in combat. So when you see the slides that will come up shortly, this means that that officer's ability does appear to trigger in combat. Now, it's not as simple as reading the officer's description and it's saying that it triggers in combat because unfortunately, sometimes the descriptions for those abilities don't match what actually happens in game, whether that is a mislabel of the description of the officer ability or an issue in the game. And I believe up until recently, even Stan, who doesn't have a chance to trigger in combat, was getting some phantom effectiveness increase until they fixed that when you put him on a ship with Pike. That has been corrected, but we still tested every single officer we could get our hands on, excluding those Strange New Worlds officers. Epic Data, which nobody that I spoke to at the time had. I'm sure some people we could have tracked down, but it's not that important to us. And Tau, which is a broken officer that very few people, I believe, actually have their hands on. And I don't believe there's a way to source him. So those of you that are completionists hoping to get your hands on him at some point in time, I wouldn't get your hopes up. So now for the list, these are the officers out of all the ones that we tested that did not work with Pike or Picard. They did not trigger in combat specifically, which is why we put them on this list. There's quite a bit, so bear with me. But when we get to our list of officers that do appear to work at least to some degree or at least trigger in combat, even if their effectiveness is not increased, that's even larger. So we'll go ahead and just dive right into this one. The officers that do not currently seem to work with Pike or Picard are 0718, Arkady, Aroch, Bator, Barrett, Beckett Mariner, Brad Boimler, Cadet Kirk, Cadet Scotty, Cadet Sulu, Cadet Uhura, Carol, Colber, Devana Tindy, Darwin, Domitia, DuPont, 8 of 11, 11 of 11, Fess, 5 of 11, 4 of 11, Grush, Goon, Hadley, Helvia, Hindorf, Instructor Spock, Javid, Joaquin, Keenser, Claw, Kuran, Leslie, Levis, Mbenga, Imral, Makinen, Mara, Marla, 
Next Gen Data, Next Gen LaForge, Next Gen Riker, Next Gen Troy, 9 of 11, 1 of 11, Origins Burnham, Origins Saru, Origins Stamets, Otto, Pike, Quark, Sam Rutherford, Scotty, 7 of 11, Ston, Tapring, 10 of 11, 3 of 11, TOS McCoy, TOS Scotty, 2 of 11, Uhura, Vela, Wesley Crusher, Wotun Waton, <laughs> I don't think I've actually heard anybody pronounce that guy's name before, and Zara. So at this point in the game, according to our test, they do not appear to work as always. Comment section, keep us honest. If you know for a fact that those officers, any of them on the list, actually do work with Pike and Picard, please drop that down below for us, and we'll go ahead and give it another look. That being said, let's go ahead and move on to the list of officers that do currently trigger in combat and theoretically would have their effectiveness increased by Pike and Picard. Those officers are Avix, Arium, Erix, Azibur, Bayel, Badgy, Beverly Crusher, Bones, Cadet McCoy, Captain Tilly, Kath, Chang, Charvenek, Chen, Dejoki, Diana Troy, Decius, Emperor Giorgio, Eurydice, Gala, Jordi LaForge, Giorgio, Gonzalez, Gorkon, Gowron, Harrison, Harry Mudd, Honor Guard Wharf, Jayla, Joaquim, Jean-Luc Picard, Kabish, Kang, Kadi, Kurla, Khan, Kirk, Kamal, Koth, Krass, Krell, Kumak, Lenar, Linkasa, Lorca, Lursa, Marcus, Martok, Michael Burnham, Merrick, Mitchell, Moreau, Mud, Navi, Nero, Next Gen Crusher, Pan, Paul Stamets, Kuag, Rima, Ro Mud, Rom, Rukor, Saru, Sila, Sisha, Severus, Sheev, Six of Eleven, Spock, Sulu, Talon, Tasha Yar, Tilly, Tiza, Tomalak, TOS Chekhov, TOS Kirk, TOS Spock, TOS Sulu, TOS Uhura, Tyler, Vartok, Vel, Vimit, Vixis, William T. Riker, Worf, Yanug, Yuki, and Zhao. As a gentle reminder, just because an officer's ability does trigger in combat and could hypothetically have their effectiveness increased by Picard or Pike, does not mean you should use them. Doesn't mean that it increases the effectiveness very much, does not mean that's a very good crew. However, this should be a cool jumping off point for those of you curious what you might be able to go ahead and tweak out if you did use your Pike, Picard, and possibly Beverly and Moreau to help increase the effectiveness even further of those niche officers that do some kind of interesting things. For instance, Emperor Giorgio was pretty fun. It didn't take very long at all to start seeing more of the hits come up in the battle log there, but it is a little bit tricky to go ahead and tell whether that is because the officer ability is working in general or because the added effectiveness is that noticeable. For instance, we used that Kelvin timeline Sulu to see how noticeable this increased effectiveness actually was on a Rialta. With Pike, we got 291 damage. Without him, 289 damage. So in reality, it was a 0.06% increase to the damage, which is not statistically significant at all. So just because it triggers in combat and can theoretically increase the effectiveness of an officer's ability, that does not mean that it's a great combination to use. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, however, if you guys want to go mess around with these officers now that you know that they should trigger in combat and see if you can come up with some strange, interesting, entertaining crews, drop those in the comments down below and perhaps we can showcase at least a couple of those in a future video. Make sure to leave this video a like. They are free and they help us ascend to new heights here. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. We are trying to push for that 1701 subscriber milestone and that would help us tremendously. Every subscribe helps us get there. Don't forget to check out our live streams that recently launched on Fridays from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. ish Eastern Standard Time, the first half of which we will stay in Star Trek Fleet Command territory. The second half or so, we will transition to our game of the week. We may end up moving that live stream around, however, so jump on our Discord server and let us know if a, another day would work better for you or keep up with it if we do choose to move it for some reason. Not just for that purpose, but you can catch all the latest from the channel there, ask any questions that you have, and generally just chill with a pretty awesome community of players. That server has been growing tremendously, we have a lot of activity there now, and that's where the magic happens in between the videos being released on this channel. 
check out either one of the videos that should be coming up here momentarily for more Star Trek Fleet Command and other gaming content. Times are tough right now, so remember the words of Eleanor, friends, and choose to live. Now is the only moment. Live long and prosper, and we'll catch you again soon.